Good evening and thanks for joining us for your Northeast Arkansas Late News. I'm Josh Egbert. I'm Sarah Blakely. After 70 hours of searching across the country, 16 year old Arissa Farmer, who went missing five days ago, was found alive and well this morning. Northeast Arkansas Simone Jamison has more from Arissa Farmer's pastor and the event that pulled an entire church community together to help bring her home. Following more than 72 hours of police searches and prayers, Arissa Farmer was found safe over 300 miles away from her hometown of Truman in O'Neill, Nebraska, 2 a.m. Thursday morning. 52-year-old Craig Gallum faces felony charges for child trafficking. Arissa's parents released a statement to Truman Police today, saying, quote, We are all so exhausted as we have been running on adrenaline since this thing started. We'd like to thank the countless man hours that have been put in by the officers to make this day happen. There is also a large amount of gratitude for Arissa's pastor, John Dillinger of Northeast Arkansas Baptist Church. Dillinger organized a citywide prayer vigil and service. A lot of times we think, well, this is just a Chicago or New York or LA problem. If it can happen in Truman, Arkansas, it can happen in any town in America. We're just relieved and thankful and praiseful and just all kinds of emotions. Members are also planning actions to prevent further missing child cases, including working with state legislatures to get stricter internet safety laws passed. We're just going to continue to pray for her, pray for the family, and pray that nothing like this ever happens again to anyone. Arissa will likely receive counseling and therapy. Truman Police Chief Chad Henson celebrates Arissa's homecoming as the department's mission to end child predators continues. I cannot say enough about the, uh, the men and women in law enforcement uh, that just didn't give up. You need to have a conversation with your children. You need to tell them, hey, I, it is my job to protect you. And so I need to know what you're talking about on these communication devices. For Northeast Arkansas News, I'm Simone Jameson. Gillum is awaiting extradition to Arkansas from Nebraska. Truman detectives are working with DHS and crimes against children to assess with her return.